A Danish magazine reported dismal results from an electric car range test of the Toyota BZ4X, finding that the new EV only attained around half of its promised range. Today, tomorrow, Toyota. But after a recent recall issue, that might not be so true after all. Hello there and welcome back to Tech Addicts. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and also hit the bell icon so you tech junkies don't miss out on your dose. Toyota's begun an investigation into the findings of a Danish media road test which revealed that the all-electric BZ4X's range was much less than its WLTP projections. This was true for both the two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive Toyota BZ4X models. Toyota's foray into the highly competitive all-electric crossover sector is the BZ4X. The BZ4X has been problematic despite its impressive badge. The vehicle's wheels could fall off, so production was suspended earlier this year. Because it is made in Japan and China, the BZ4X may be excluded from the Biden administration's updated EV tax credit. Danish motoring magazine FDM has published a road test of the BZ4X's two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants. The WLTP range estimate for the BZ4X front-wheel drive variant is 504 kilometers, and the all-wheel drive variation is 461 kilometers. However, during the magazine's test, the two-wheel drive BZ4X could only travel 246 kilometers before needing to be recharged. After 215 kilometers, the all-wheel drive BZ4X needed to be charged, and this this is a 51% and 53% departure from the vehicle's stated WLTP range, respectively. It's not surprising that the BZ4X hit less than its WLTP range, especially given that the test was conducted in chilly temperatures. FDM, on the other hand, was worried by the disparity in the real range of the Toyota-branded all-electric vehicle. During the magazine's road test, the Tesla Model Y long-range all-wheel drive, for example, had a 30% range deviation. The Volkswagen ID.4 Pro and Mercedes-Benz EQA, on the other hand, deviated from the certified WLTP range by only 33%. Toyota Denmark's head of press, Anders Tistrup, stated that the Japanese car maker is aware of the test and results of the vehicle. An investigation into the results is purportedly underway, while the press manager also stated that the range mismatch could be due in part to the BZ4X's buffer in the battery. Being said, Toyota's first full battery electric vehicle, the Toyota BZ4X, wasn't off to a great start. Toyota ordered a global recall for its 2023 BZ4X electric crossover SUV less than two months after it was introduced. According to the automaker, the wheel's hub bolts can break loose while driving, causing the entire wheel to detach. Toyota, predictably, is advising owners not to drive their vehicles until the issue is resolved. According to Reuters, a total of 2,700 automobiles have been recalled, with 2,200 destined for Europe, 260 for the United States, 110 for Japan, and 10 for Canada. Subaru announced last week that it's recalling approximately 2,600 Solterra vehicles for the same reason. Recalls of this magnitude are not uncommon, but the rationale for this one is concerning. Here's Toyota's take on what might happen. After low mileage use, all the hub bolts on the wheel can loosen to the point where the wheel can detach from the vehicle. If a wheel detaches from the vehicle while driving, it could result in a loss of vehicle control, increasing the risk of a crash. Yes, that means the car's wheels may fall off. Toyota discontinued sales of its first all-electric compact SUV earlier this year, just after it hit the market. The nuts that hold the wheel to the automobile were weakening and could come away when driving, especially after rapid turns and hard braking. Toyota indicated that it will shortly replace parts. All BZ4X owners will receive new hub bolts with washers and better wheels as early as November. Until then, none of the 260 vehicles may be driven. The same caution applies to the BZ4X's Subaru sibling car, the Solterra, which experienced the same loosened wheels issue. According to Reuters, the business in Japan, where the cars are manufactured, said it will resume manufacturing now that a remedy has been located. During the recall, a separate airbag problem was discovered. For the past three months, production of the BZ4X and Solterra has been halted. According to Motor Intelligence data for September, there were no sales of the troubled Toyota EV. Toyota, the world's largest automaker and hybrid evangelist, has stated that it will begin sales of its first mass-produced battery EV following that safety recall due to the possibility that its wheels could fall off. Months later, the Japanese manufacturer appears to have discovered a solution to the manufacturing flaw and it tends to promptly resume BZ4X production. Toyota has chosen a considerably more hesitant approach to BEVs as the rest of the automotive world pivots toward a full embrace. 
As a result, the Japanese automaker has received a lot of criticism from the EV community and has seen its comfortable throne as the world's top selling automaker dwindle. Global supply chain concerns haven't helped matters either. There are enough public examples of Toyota stifling EV adoption in the past to fill a Vatican museum, but the business has changed its tune in recent years, all the while clinging to hybrid vehicle technology as if it were its last hope for relevant sales, which it may be. Toyota appears to have resolved the wheel issue on the recalled vehicles and plans to resume BZ4X EV sales four months later. Toyota has committed to replace and properly tighten all hub bolts on the EVs going forward, a very simple fix to the earlier recall, according to a filing with Japan's Transport Ministry. Toyota stated that, while dealing with a the recall, they identified another potential problem. This time it was the EV airbags, and it claimed to have corrected the problem before it became one. That's a good thing. The flaw appears to have hampered the installation of the curtain shield airbags, which are supposed to protect the driver's head in the case of a collision. That could have been disastrous. After dealing with the recall, sales of the electric SUVs will now restart alongside production, and Toyota Executive Vice President Masahiko Maeda stated that the company aims to gradually resume BZ4X shipments while prioritizing consumer demand for their EVs. Toyota may have been late to the market, but the BZ4X will have a significant impact on its car sector. It lacks the flair that some other electric SUVs have, but the BZ4X's potential success lies within. Toyota concentrated significantly on developing a lithium-ion battery capable of addressing many of the challenges that EVs face today. One of the most significant barriers to the viability of electric vehicles is battery degradation. Extreme temperatures can cause electric vehicles to rapidly lose battery capacity and, in extreme cases, lose all power while driving. The Toyota BZ4X was created with extreme temperatures in mind, and it should be able to survive the high and low temperatures that other electric vehicles struggle with. After a decade, the BZ4X will retain 90% of its battery capacity. This moderate degradation rate will make the electric SUV one of the market's longest-lasting EVs. How does the BZ4X compare to its rivals? Here are the reasons why the Toyota BZ4X is superior to the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Y. The Toyota BZ4X starts at a lesser price. The Ford Mustang Mach-E is a basic MSRP of $43,895, while the Tesla Y has a base price of $62,990. The Toyota BZ4X has a base price of $42,000. The BZ4X is a greater standard driving range. The regular BZ4X batteries are a 63.4 kilowatt-hour pack in the single motor version and a 65.5 kilowatt-hour pack in the enhanced dual motor model. The limited and XLE variants of the BZ4X single motor vehicle have ranges of 242 and 252 miles respectively. Meanwhile, the all-wheel drive dual motor models will provide 222 and 228 miles, so it certainly is worth the drive. The Ford Mustang Mach-E, on the other hand, comes standard with a battery pack with a useful capacity of 68 to 70 kilowatt hours with an optional extended range pack with a capacity of 88 to 91. According to Car and Driver, even with a significantly larger battery, the base model only covers 211 miles. The Toyota BZ4X offers superior gas mileage. The BZ4X gets an EPA rating of up to 131 miles per gallon E in the city and up to 107 on the highway. I mean, who could ask for anything more? The Mustang Mach-E, by comparison, gets 96 miles per gallon E in the city and 84 on the highway. The BZ4X has more ground clearance than the other electric vehicles. Ground clearance is another issue that many EVs have due to the positioning of the battery underneath. The Toyota BZ4X boasts one of the finest clearances of any electric SUV on the market at 8.1 inches. Meanwhile, the Mustang Mach-E only has 5.8 inches of ground clearance. Although low ground clearance can improve speed and efficiency, it's not ideal if you plan on performing some off-roading. If you intend to go off-road, the BZ4X should be able to comfortably navigate rough terrain without bottoming out. It all boils down to how you intend to use your EV. If you're seeking a cheaper electric vehicle for outdoor adventures, then it's better to go places with Toyota BZ4X. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comments section, and we'll see you in the next one.